Today, we're diving into something incredibly exciting, a groundbreaking Figma plugin called FigGPT. Imagine harnessing the power of ChatGPT within Figma to write copy for your designs. That's exactly what FigGPT does. In this video, I'll share my screen and walk you through setting up the plugin and trying it out for the first time. So are you ready to bring a little bit of the future into your design process? Let's go. For those who may not be familiar with ChatGPT, it's a powerful language model by OpenAI that can generate human-like text. FigGPT brings its power into Figma, allowing us as designers to move away from lorem ipsum and using compelling copy in our designs. With FigGPT, you no longer struggle to find the right words or phrases for your design projects. This plugin will help you generate context-aware copy, iterate through multiple variations, and quickly refine your text without leaving Figma. I can imagine that the potential and benefits of using FigGPT can be numerous. It could help us save time, improve productivity, and elevate the overall quality of our designs by providing us with well-written copy that fits our project's context. But it's my first time trying it out, so let's see how easy it is. Okay, so let's kick this off. I'm excited. So we have uh, the FigGPT page. Um, let's see, let's try it out. I'll actually install this right from within Figma. Jumping, jumping over to Figma. I have a document set up uh, for FigGPT test. Let's go into resources, choose plugins, and then type in FigGPT. I love this new functionality with Figma where you can just search for the plugins and install them right away. Click run. Okay, cool. Amplify your workflow in Figma with AI. Your email, open AI's API key. How to get an API key. How can I get an API key? The plugin requires an OpenAI account to get started. Visit platform OpenAI. So let's open up a new window, OpenAI, and then click on your profile and select view API keys. View API keys. Next step, create a new key and paste it into the plugin. Create a new secret key. API key generated, copy it, uh, and then I guess we're done, right? Paste it into the plugin. All right, so my email. And there we go, get started. All right, cool. So I guess this is pretty much it. Okay, this is cool. So they already have some pre-made prompts uh, or you can write in your custom prompt based off of whatever you want to create. So let's go with the idea of creating a list item uh, with uh, a placeholder image of a user with their first and last name and then we'll add like a job title right below it. Uh, and we'll duplicate it and then we'll select all of the different job titles and then have FigGPT generate random job titles for those lists. Let's try that out. So I'll just randomly create a frame and let's create this like placeholder thingy. First and last name. And then let's make this one 16. And maybe this is a little bit too small. Let's make this 48 by 48. Cool. And then here at the bottom, let's do job position. Let's make this slight gray. And then 12. This is cool. Turn this into auto layout. I'll add two pixel spacing in between. And then eight between these. Turn that into an auto layout. 
let's set this to a fixed width of 220 and then the frame here we can rename this to info called the outer frame um, list cell placeholder image I like to name all of my stuff and then fill the container let's set some of the paddings over here to 8 pixels and I think that's that's fine let's go with that all right so let's duplicate set all of those to 8 pixel distance in between let's make it even bigger this is a little bit too crammed so let's go with 24 all right cool let's select all of these job positions and then let's try random um, generate random job titles within the creative industry open AI is experiencing too many requests try selecting less text layers or just wait a little while and try again okay so it seems like you have to have a paid account on OpenAI in order to avoid this 429 error I just went over to the the page the fake GPT help page and it says if you have 429 error either uh, you can try again later because it's currently overwhelmed which is something that we've seen on like chat GPT for instance uh, with that issue or you can buy a premium account from OpenAI and then uh, create a new API key uh, but you would have to log out and then log back in um, and then use that same key so um, let's try that I will I, I just upgraded my plan um, so let's go back to the keys and I will okay so I'll have to create a new secret key and then I will log out and then log back in create a new secret key there you go okay um, and then revoke the other key all right so let's log out and then just log back in and we should be good now so let's jump back into Figma let's try this out info log out and then let's try it again okay cool so now let's select all of these randomly generate various job positions in the creative industry hmm oh wow what's happening over here oh shit. um let's try this again um let's see how this works if we select these one two three four five so randomly generate let's specify this further uh, generate five various job positions in the creative industry and replace the selected text layers hmm I wonder how this works oh wow okay so now it okay so I, I'm starting to see the logic here it seems like it's generating five job positions for each of the text layer so that means we have to do the following generate a job position in the creative industry and replace the selected text layer let's try this one hmm 
Hmm. So it used the. Uh, okay. Let's try this once again. Um, job position in the creative industry. Let's use random job position. Oh, okay. So now it works. Um, but it did generate graphic designer job position graphic designer and then art director and then graphic designer and graphic designer again um so let's try something different replace with random job position in the creative industry oh now we have it replace with random job position in the creative industry Okay, so we have to specify exactly what we want this fig GPT to do with the selected text layers. So replace with random job position in the creative industry. Wow, this is amazing. So let's try out replace with random names. Random first name and last name. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is very interesting. Super cool. Fig GPT is a true game changer for Figma users, hands down. I get so passionate about seeing future technology being implemented as part of our everyday life as designers. And I don't know about you guys, but I am mad excited about utilizing the full potential of AI as part of my design process. By integrating ChatGPT's powerful language capabilities into Figma, this plugin helps us create better copies seamlessly within our projects. It saves time, increases productivity, and takes our designs to the next level quickly. Just like ChatGPT or any other AI tools as of now, it may take a little bit of practice to understand how to form the prompts in order to give you valuable outcome. A huge shout out to Alex or Olex for creating this plugin. Give it a try and let me know what you feel about it in the comments below. And if you like what you're seeing, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications and hit the like button below for more videos like this. Until next time.